Hey, 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 it's Figuratively Naked episode four. How's this for a look? It's kind of cute, huh? This is my favorite robe. Um, it's very fuzzy. And it's very soft, and I wear it a lot. And it's wonderful. That, and I have a couple hoodies. I think you figured out by now. Hoodies and robes on the entire of the day. It is an exceptionally windy, windy day here in Connecticut, cold. Um, not the kind you want to go, you know, to go out and about. And I have errands after run. And, and that brings me to the topic I want to talk about to you today. It's, it's when you got to get it got done. Okay, when you got to get it done, when your back's against the wall. Um, I just got home last week from spending a week in Arizona at some training, internet marketing training. I was at the Techademics uh, Tech Week. I was there. And so I got home and I have so many days in between to get everything done for the holidays because I'm leaving on a cruise. Uh, the cruise leaves on Saturday, but I have to go down uh, to Jersey because I'm catching a, a very early morning flight on Saturday. So Friday, I have to be out of here. So I had, I got home Sunday. So I had Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Actually, I got home Saturday late night. So I had Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And I have to leave Friday. I have very little time. I have all my Christmas shopping. I have a huge crunch shoe. I'm gunning for a $100,000 bonus. I have a lot of people coming at me after tech week. Excuse me. <coughs> Best part about figuratively naked is I can sneeze and I don't have to do the video over. I just don't care. One of these days I'll do a lot of lives, but look, I'm making my way there, kids. <laughs> I don't know. Lives? I think lives serve a great purpose. Um, I just don't need that purpose uh, so much right now. So I haven't been doing a lot of them. Do some. Um, so I only have a couple days. And for a lot of you guys, you get in this position, you got the kids, you got the bake sale, you got the this, you got your business, yada, yada, yada. And what I want to tell you is that when you have to get something done, if you're thinking right, when you have to get something done, you have the power to get more done in a day than you can get done in a week or a month if you want to. And what's really cool, being the queen of, <laughs> of confusion, being Miss ADHD, I learned very, very early on um, that procrastination was my friend. Now it's not for everybody. So please, this video is about, these videos are about telling you the truth about me, about how I work in case it helps you. Um, I am not endorsing this as a way of being, okay? I'm just telling you the truth because so often it's just like everybody's perfect and everybody plans and everybody has checklists and planners. Hockman doesn't, okay? What I know is that if I am pushed into focus, if I have no choice, if I have to get something done, I can get something done very quickly simply because my ADHD makes my head and my mind always darting, but when there's something that's imminent, there's no room for it to dart. So for example, I just did all my Christmas shopping in about 12 hours, all of it, every speck of it, got it done, got it wrapped, got it done because I had no choice. I'm leaving and I don't get back till Christmas Eve. And by the time I get back, everything's going to be closed. Um, yes, I'm going to be on a cruise, but there's like only so much to buy there. There's not good stuff. Believe it or not, you'd think, oh, it's a shopping mecca. No, it's not. Um, you know, unless you're looking for jewelry, the Caribbean islands and the ports and stuff, there's nothing there but tchotchkes and t-shirts and shot glasses and, you know, all the usual stuff probably made in China, not where I am. So when you have to get something done, sometimes putting yourself against the wall is the very best thing you can do because it makes your superpowers kick in. Diana, I don't have any superpowers. Yes, you do. Everybody does. You've heard the stories about the woman lifting a car off their kid because the kid got stuck under and there's no choice and she lifts a two-ton vehicle. How does somebody do that? Superpowers. Okay, you've heard the stories about people going uh, up to the wall, you know, in college and university and stuff, and they write their paper that night and hand it in in the morning, you know, <laughs> in with their sweats and their cup of coffee, they hand in the paper. Nowadays, you can email it in. You don't even have to go in and drop it off. It's so good today. You can just email it in, but they write it like at the end because they have all the information in their head. They just are having trouble getting it out. And when they get pushed, when they have no choice and they only have a couple of hours to do it, they get it done. So I dare say this about you. Want to learn how to run an opportunity meeting? Push yourself to the wall and get on the stage. Because when you're on the stage and there's people looking at you, you're going to spit it out of your mouth. You're going to spit it out of your mouth. You want to learn how to do video? Do lives. 
You know, I just said that I'm not doing them a time to do lives because lives, there's no choice. There's people there. It's live. You got to talk. Um, you know, want to learn how to talk to a prospect? Get on the phone with one. Pick up the phone. And what will happen is they'll ask you a question and you'll be stunned at what you know what will come out of your mouth. So this is me. I'm not saying it's you. But me, I like to put myself against the wall. I like to, to wait to the end. It's how I win affiliate contests. Um, everybody's funny. I remember recently there's a major marketer and I was in his affiliate launch and he kept telling me I wanted to have an early webinar and he kept telling me to send out his swipe and he kept telling me to do all this stuff. And for everybody else, that was probably the best advice because the earlier you got them into the system, the more he could work with the people, the more he could close sales for you, etc. I always sneak into launches at the end and people are starting to be on to me now. So now I have to stop doing that because they're on to me. I sneak in at the end. I, I look at the field. I look and see what's going on. And I don't want to um, market to my list so many days in a row the same thing. So what I do is I sneak in at the end in the last couple days and I hit it really hard. And more often than not, I come out top 10, if not right up towards the top. If I'm hitting it, sometimes I'm just dabbling. Um, anything like that. Affiliate, I mean, I've won big, those big checks, those $10,000 checks in the last minute. Um, I'm in the last, uh, you know, in the marathon, I'm the girl that's going to take it in the last half a mile. Um, so that's my technique. Push yourself against a wall um, and see what happens. Now, if you're not the type of person that responds well and that shuts you down, obviously don't do it. But if you're somebody like me, and I know there's a lot of you out there, the wall makes you perform. The wall. How many of you guys have kids and you'd wait till Christmas Eve to, to do everything and you're exhausted, but there's such, there's juice in it. There's juice in the wall. There's juice in figuring out what to do right at the flag. Try it. That's me. I'm a last minute kind of girl. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm the queen of unprepared. Um, when I'm unprepared, let me take that back because I'm not unprepared because I know everything, I know all this stuff. I've worked it, I know it. It's when I don't try to make myself slide, so when I don't try to make myself be perfect, that's when the beauty comes out. Learn your craft, know your stuff, and then throw yourself in the pool. I promise, if you throw yourself in the pool, you're gonna swim. I'll see you later. Maybe someday I'll even make a video with my hair done and with real clothes on. Don't count on it, but maybe. I'll see you later.